If you've ever tried to get a backup or an archive copy of your Apple Notes, uh, Apple really hasn't made it that easy. Uh, technically, the only way that you can do it is by opening up the Notes app, going to File, and then Export as PDF. Now, the problem with this is you have to do each one individually. And if you, like myself, have thousands of notes, probably not a good idea and you'll be doing it, I mean, for days. It just, it takes forever. And I mean, there's automations that you can set up for this, but then you have to get into uh, working with Automator and Automator, uh, you know, sometimes isn't too friendly with this kind of thing. And I've seen the process, I've had it work, but it's just not reliable. Now, Apple has recently added some uh, initiatives where they want to be more transparent about user data and what they have and what they're storing on you and that kind of thing. And luckily, Notes was included in that. Now, there's one other thing that I left out. Uh, in order for this to work, your notes have to be in iCloud. Uh, some users may not have their notes in iCloud, but they just have them stored locally on their phones or locally on their uh, Mac hard drives or maybe even their iPads. Uh, you have to go into system preferences and to the uh, iCloud settings and make sure that notes is checked off to sync in the cloud. And then this way you'll be able to get an archive of your data. Otherwise, if it's stored locally, Apple has no way of letting you download it. Uh, let's do Safari for this and we'll kind of walk through that process together. So uh, Safari and we're gonna go to Apple ID dot apple.com. All right, we're gonna sign in here. And that looks good. Okay, so once you're logged into your uh, Apple ID page, you're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom past all your devices and like your uh, payment and shipping information. Essentially, it's this last data and privacy section down here. And you're gonna go ahead and click on manage your data and privacy. <clears throat> and you'll be asked to sign in one more time. But what you essentially do now uh, is go to this uh, first section here, get a copy of your data, request the copy, uh, I know it's not the purpose of this video, but we can take a quick look at what uh, options you have here. You can download everything from iCloud Drive, Mail, Photos. You have the option to look at all of your uh, information about your App Store, iTunes, Apple Books, Music, whatever, all those services, your Apple ID account information, uh, Apple Pay, even the stuff that you bought at their stores. They'll basically give you a list of all that data, iCloud and calendars. But our biggest interest here is iCloud Notes. All right, then you'll hit continue. <clears throat> They'll ask you know what file size you want this to be in, and for the file size, yeah, most likely you won't have more than one gig, so you can just do one gig. Uh, what this really means is, if let's say there's like 30 gigs of data, they will give it to you in one gig increments, so you'll have 31 gig files. Uh, if you choose, for example, the 10 gig increments, then you'll have three 10 gig files for your 30 gigs of data essentially. So it doesn't really matter for notes anyway. So you can just do one gig and then complete the request. Uh, I'm not gonna do this because I've already done that request. Let's go take a look at it. We'll back out of here. Uh, you'll come in here to get your data and you can download what you, what you requested. You can also delete the copy from here. I've already downloaded it. So let's go to my downloads folder and check it out. So it comes as a zip file. Go to list view here, and there we go. It says iCloud Notes. Let's go ahead and unzip this. And we're done. All right, so it comes in a folder. Uh, it has your recently deleted notes. It also has all of your notes. Now the interesting thing is each note is in an individual folder. So once you open it up, you'll have a TXT file. And you can spacebar to take a quick look. Uh, so here I had some notes about like, uh, you know, uh, scripts and things like that. Now, if you, your note has a picture with it, I'm trying to see if we can find one here that maybe has a picture. Uh, probably not going to be that lucky because I can't remember which one it is exactly. But it stores the picture as an attachment. So once you've uh, you know, open the note, you'll have a, a an attachment essentially inside of it with the picture file. So it's not a PDF where it's kind of doing it in one page and in one document. 
it's split up into two documents if you have uh, a picture in there, which isn't bad anyway. So this is a lot better for, you know, doing archiving and things like that compared to having to, you know, do each one individually. So kudos to Apple for uh, getting this option available to their customers. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.